Hello everyone, this is Goron50. I'll be doing Super Mario World Returns 2. I am using a new version of Camtasia, so if you see slight changes that you don't like or any if it, if this the you know sounds overpowering or anything, let me know. I set it to 50%. And I'm using a different way to capture audio too, so you know. Japanese Basically. Basically. I don't know what that says. Alright, level one. Hopefully there's not lag or anything. If there is, then I apologize for that. As this will be serve as a sort of beta test slash first video. I mean, I've tested it enough. I mean, it should be fine by now, at least, but you never know. But anyways, I am playing this hack. I don't mean to pry. Well, I don't know. Enter pipe. Enter pipe. Enter pipe. Okay, that's enough of that. That says that you will smell your feet if you don't wash. I certainly don't want to do that. Go that way. Can I push down? No, I can't. Alright. What made me go down the pipe? I have no idea. Let's go up. Hey, look, another text box. They sure have a lot to say in this hack, don't they? Something Japanese, that's all I got, basically. I think they're, I think they're selling, det you know, detergents or something. I have no idea. <clears throat> Still like these graphics, though. They're like, kind of like, newish, oldish kind of thing. They're amazing. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a sequel to the other hack. It's awesome. Slide. Slide. I don't know what else to say. It's just a dar gosh darn good looking hack, you gotta admit. You cannot deny the awesomeness levels of this hack, which is pure win. There's a pipe down there, which I don't know how to get to. Ooh. Hey, Chuck. Help me. Okay, I can go in there. And there's nothing there. There's just a Koopa dude. That's all there is. Just Koopa dudes. Don't be fooled, though. I am playing this with save states. I just haven't died yet. Wee. I do agree it's an easy hack, and I could play without save states. The thing is that, um... It requires editing, which is something I sometimes am too lazy to do, especially when I fail too much. Oh crap. Wee. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> you know, I love being able to pause and not having to worry about doing something wrong. Because the way I used to record is I used a separate program to catch the, um, basically the, basically, ah! Can I do a wall jump? Come on, do it. Oh, fine. Don't do a wall jump then. Like I said, I don't because the way I used to record, I used a separate program to capture the actual audio of the game itself, basically. And I don't have to do that anymore. Like I had a hotkey, two buttons, so I had to press two buttons to pause, which sometimes even desyncs the audio. Now I don't know if recording the way I am currently. Well, desync the audio, but regardless, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. If it gets desync, then do let me know, like in comments and stuff. That way, I'll look at it and be like, okay, so now I know this program desyncs the audio. So good to know. Basically, as such, I'd like to know. But yeah, tell me what it, how, what do you guys think? It's probably not any any different since I'm still using the same format as last time. But again, it's the new Camtasia, so yeah. I gotta make sure it's working properly with the power of 10. And I guess I will tell you what I'm doing. The per the thing, the cool thing about the new Camtasia Studio is the fact that it can capture the application's audio, meaning you don't have to worry about like using two computers or using another separate program to record game audio, worrying about stereo mix, worrying about getting something annoying that will bug you. 
basically, it just captures the application's sound. Uh, along with your... Along with your mic. That's the cool, awesome thing about it. Right now, I'm recording, like, stereo mix, despite not having stereo mix. That's basically the secret. That's the new thing I'm testing out. I don't know if it's gonna desync anything, I doubt it, but if it does, in the editing mode, I also noticed that... Actually, never mind. Huh. Yeah, it just, it just catches it like stereo mix, really. It's just like, it's like, just records the application sound, that's all. And dang, I can't, can't now I can't remember what I was gonna mention. Jeez. Ah! Oh yeah, now I remember. Did you notice when it, when I went to this level, this, the shadow, the shadow of the bridge appeared first? That's just funny. It's like, I'm a ghost! Oh look, I'm visible. You can see me now. It's like the booze. Except that there are actually shadowy figures in this one. They're like shit. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of Luigi's Adventure, except the bonsai bills are faster. No, you're not, Bullet Bill. You're not killing me today. Fine. You can kill me today. Fine, Koopa! You can conspire against me! Despite all the good things I've done for you. Silly thing. I also noticed they did the whole scroll up where you are at, so they hex edited that too. That's quite interesting. Like I said, really great level designs right here. Like I, you know, if more normal people actually, you know, had like these graphics to add automatically, then we'd have some colorful new hacks. Easily, any hack would actually look decent, kind of thing. Because I, I respect the old designs, like the old Super Mario World things, but you've seen it like, what, a bunch of times? You want to actually see new stuff? So I guess in the long run it doesn't really matter since, like, if they did have the alternate graphics like this one to begin with, then that just means that, you know, you'll grow tired of these and you just be like, Oh, I missed the Super Mario World classic graphics. That's how it rolls. I don't know. Though still, still like seeing new things, and that's cool when you see them and all that jazz. Ugh. Like heck, I only I've, this is like the first time I ever see any any these specific graphics because I mean I I've seen them before like something similar but not quite as you know clean and neat as this is. I don't know how to describe it. It's just awesome. I guess you can say they just use the right shade of palette colors and such. It just blends in everything just right, kind of thing. It's kind of cool. No, Chuck, I kill you with glitch. <laughs> Take that. Take that! Go in there. And I swear it's not me slowing it down or anything, it's just the fact that there's a lot of sprites on the screen at once. Which you can easily get rid of it, get rid of it by sprite buoyancy, but, you know, it also makes some sprites not appear. That's the downside of it. The upside is it keeps your gameplay smooth and not laggy or slowed down or anything. And I get, can't get the halfway point because I didn't go the top way, which is an interesting, an interesting way of doing it. It's kind of like, you see, you know where the halfway point is, right here, but you can't get it because you didn't go the way we wanted you to. <laughs> so no halfway point for you. As long as I stay up there, I'm safe as well. Oof, another one. Anything here? Shroom! Duck, 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 duck. I want to squeeze my way in there, and then spin right through it in glitch format. Oof. Thanks to slow down, I could actually time the way I do it. Is this the pipe I go in? Nope, it's not. Jump! Slow downs for the lose, because I didn't really want to use them, but the game forces me to. I can't help but comply, because really... What else am I supposed to do? Just be an idiot and not com not let it help me? It's kind of like you're hungry and someone offers you bread and you're like, are you going to be a buffoon and be stubborn and be like, I don't need your bread! Or are you actually going to do a smart thing and survive in this world and eat it? Of course you are. Really. I mean, 
I can understand some people's kindness, but there's also the fact that you have to also look out for yourself. <laughs> or else you won't survive in this world. <laughs> I like the background. It has the meadowy look. It's kind of neat. Yes, people, this is how I play ROM hacks. I compliment the hack when it's awesome, and it deserves it, because it's awesome. What else am I supposed to say? Oh, look, there's flowers. Oh, look, there's a block with Japanese that I cannot understand. Hey, look, a Danny. Hey, look, is this a Koopa? Hey, look, there, that's not a Koopa, that's a Goomba. Hey, look, Cheapo, dude, that kills me because he's on the water and I'm not allowed to spin on him. That's what I should comment on. I shouldn't even compliment the hack anymore. I should just talk like this the entire time and just play the hack. Oh, look, I took heat. Oh, look, I killed the Koopa. Oh, look, there's coins. And, oh, look, I'm annoying. 